contests, when these uh, competitions started, a lot of the contestants, they sang these songs on, on the shows. That was the beginning of it. And then came Michael Bublé, mm -hmm. who brought this big band and this style back. And <coughs> Lady Gaga has now done something with uh, Tony Bennett, like a, a whole album. Yeah, yeah, and uh, they're, they're bringing it back. All these artists are bringing it back, you know. And the younger generation is starting to pick up on this. Now, do you think, Zach, do you think that sampling has to do with that? Are, are you for sampling or against sampling? It seems to be there's two camps. There's people who absolutely hate the idea of you taking an old song and then throwing a rap over it. But then there's some people who are like, hey, that's a way to introduce the new generation to old school. Um, I'm against it, personally, but um, I understand the business. So... Um, you know, people are in it to make money, and if this is what's going to bring them money, so <laughs> it's a business. Right. So let it be that, you know. But for you and me, it's good because you know it's in our blood um, this this genre. So it's going to keep us working. Yeah, for sure. Now, enough about Elvis and all those people. I want to talk about Zach for a second yeah. because I want people to understand. Okay, so you're doing a show. You're performing on stage a uh, couple nights a week. Would, what, you were like five nights a week, four nights, three nights? No, well, it depends. You know, we have, uh, we have our dates scheduled, uh, our monthly dates where the show gets booked. Whether uh, we're, Now we're going to Japan, mm. so we're going to be there for like two weeks, and then I've got Dubai for a week. So, uh, Everybody's always in Dubai. You'll get there. You'll, you'll get there. You'll, you'll get there, you'll get there right. sooner or later. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's a huge music market there, you yeah, know. Yeah. And um, so, um, yeah, so I do the shows, and then I go back to uh, France because I signed a uh, deal there, management deal. Thanks. Um, I signed a record deal, too, by the way. You did? Just, yeah, just so everybody knows, I signed a record deal with Columbia. I'm going to send them a penny, and they're going to send me 13 records in the mail. And... Uh, I just, my record deal with them, so I'm looking forward to that. Whenever that starts, I'm excited. Actually, <laughs> you know, you, you, I mean, you won't believe it. Uh, uh, an album that I recorded in 1999, yes, I am that old, um, some DJ here in town, in Las Vegas, actually, an internet radio station, he picked up my, this, this CD. I have no idea where he got hold of it, and he started playing one of my songs. Just like that. And out of the blue, Zach, when are you coming into town? I'd like you to come in to the studio for an interview and you can bring your guitar, play it acoustically. I said, what? Yeah. I, I don't even remember the lyrics to these songs. You know, and I said, you know, I'll be in Vegas in July. I was, this is now six months ago. Yeah. So I came into town and uh, it's one of the local uh, internet radio stations. Internet, not FM. And this, this guy's playing this, my music like, you know, he's spinning it all day long. And I, and I thought, I, I was so amazed because I, I've lost my passion like years ago. Years ago I've lost it. And somehow it, I was like, wow. And, and I remember before coming to the studio, I was sat in the hotel with my acoustic guitar rehearsing these songs, trying to remember the lyrics, writing them down. And okay, I said, all right, I've got it somehow. And I went and we did the interview and I started playing all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. It, it, it must have been a spiritual, whatever experience, whatever you want to call it. Bam, the passion is back. Mm. And, and we're talking now after 20 years wow. of not doing this, not playing original songs. It's back. I'm singing my own songs live again. Slowly, within two months, uh, these songs got picked up by radio stations in six countries. And a hundred radio stations are playing it. And next thing I know, this guy from France contacts me. Please come up for a meeting. There's one song there that's that we really, uh, you know, we let, let's have a chat. You know, so I went to Paris. And, you know, I sat with a guy. You know, they they were very passionate about it. They said, look, we we want to sign you as management. And um, I was like, whoa, you know, this is surreal because you know, I mean. You know how hard it is to make it in this business. Sure, sure. I mean, I've, what haven't I done? And all of a sudden, it's like snowballing. I mean, I'm 45 years old. Now, 45 years old. And that, that was an interesting thing I wanted to ask you because 
for you now you're in the basket of success i mean you are you're a successful man you're traveling you're touring you've got love in your life i'm sure you're making money doing this thing but what about someone who is still out there playing their guitar uh, in a bar trying to make it like I'm sure you can relate to that person like what would you say to that person because some people might think oh well, it's easy for you Zach you're handsome you're doing Elvis you're in Europe come on man how hard can it be but you've gone Listen. through some struggles to make it right? yeah yeah I've, uh, absolutely I've been through it all and and you know I still don't consider myself a success I'm just grateful that I'm working and you know that it's, ju it's a job and it's a job that I love and I'm just happy to be doing what I love doing I'm just happy to make somebody happy. Th that is that is what uh, I'm about, you know. And I'm sure every entertainer will say the same thing. As far as giving advice to uh, artists out there who are playing the guitars in pubs and all that, my best advice is number one: don't ever lose your passion. You know, don't ever lose it because you know, um, if, th if this is who you are, just be who you are. You know, keep keep at it, and. Um, <clears throat> Best second advice is um, there are no rules. The industry has changed. There are no record companies where you have to send your demo cassette with your lyrics and hope to one day get an answer. You've got the world wide web of social network where you can do everything uh, by yourself. You've got Facebook, Twitter, you've got uh, websites, you've got you can do everything on your own. You've got everything.